what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again and we're talking about some lazy credit repair. Some jokers out there. I got this email coming in from Scotty. 8.01 p.m. to my email. So you know I'll be just watching these emails. All right, we can get right to it. Scotty says, before I knew about credit repair, excuse me, before I knew credit repair was possible, a friend of mine referred me to someone that could do it for me, okay? I paid him 600 bucks in late August 2017. Nothing on my report was changed and he was hard to get a hold of, man. Oh man, he only texted me to tell me to update and pay my bureau accounts. I started doing my own research and found 609. I ordered two packages at two different times. I sent out one round of disputes and finally seen something on my report change. I had a few accounts deleted from all three bureaus. Sent out one round, got a few accounts deleted from all three bureaus in one round. It didn't take no six months. He just got the packages on his own, sent the stuff out and did it. And where to get it at 609creditrepair.com. All right, now it's back to the story. Okay. I also added a primary and an AU trade line. And last month, when I took my credit repair into my own hands, I raised my score 110 points. I messaged the guy and he claims that the repair wasn't me, but it was him. And that if I continue with disputing on my own, I'll ruin everything and it will be my fault. I'm halted at the moment, not knowing what I should do. Continue with round two myself or just sit back and wait. Any suggestions? Yes. Yes. As I got a lot to say about this. Okay. A lot to say. Before you knew credit repair was possible, you referred to a friend and you paid 600 bucks in late August 2017. Okay? Now, with credit repair companies, you don't need to spend any money up front on a credit repair company. A credit repair company needs to do their work first and then you pay them. With the awesomelifegroup.com, when you sign up for credit repair services with my company, we send the letters off on your behalf and then you pay us. You send the letters off on your behalf and then you pay us, okay? So I don't know if you paid up front, but it seems like nothing, ha it, sa it says that not much was coming off your reports. So I, I don't know what was going on and it seems like you didn't know what was going on. It wasn't very transparent. We are very transparent, okay? At theawesomelifegroup.com or hey, come on. I'm here on YouTube, I'm doing Q and A's, I'm doing emails, we've got the, we got the do-it-yourself products that you seem to have used and had great success with when we've got a company that doesn't, okay? So uh, you know you can get a hold of me, email and YouTube and all that good stuff, all right? Look for people who are transparent. And at our company, The Awesome Life Group, uh, you can have a portal and in the portal you'll see, okay, you'll see when the letters get sent out. You see what we're challenging. You see how we're doing it. You have the support, okay? You have the team. All right, you can get a hold of someone that you need to get a hold of when you are a client, when you are a client. Even if you purchase a do-it-yourself product, look at, you're emailing me here and you're getting a, a video back to you, okay? So that's, think about this stuff, right? Any suggestions, just think about this stuff, okay? All right, now, he only texted to tell me to update and pay my bureau accounts. What does that even mean, pay what accounts? You know, man, you know, don't be paying, no, man, I'm gonna get fired up. I told myself, I promised myself I wasn't gonna get fired up tonight. You see what I'm saying? I was nice and calm, I was nice and calm. I had a little dinner, okay, it's not super late at night. I'm gonna get some decent rest tonight, all right? I haven't changed my sweater in about three, four, five days, okay? Just up in the office all day. What do you think I do? I'm just in the office all day, son. Actually, I had to run around a little bit and do some uh, other business. I had to fax some stuff and run around like a crazy man because my printer didn't want to print today. Whatever. So besides the point, let's get back to you. All right, player? Let's get back to you, okay? Do we pay? Who's telling you to pay? What are we paying? Paying collectors? Man, we know right here we don't pay no collectors, okay? So, but I don't know what he was telling you to pay, so hey, that's on you. But bureau accounts, I don't, not very specific, okay? So, and text message, man, I don't know. Text message doesn't seem very professional to me, but that's just my opinion. Now, you order the two packages two different times. Thank you very much. You sent out one round, finally sent something come off your reports, and you got a few deletions on three bureaus. Let's say it's a few deletions, which might be three, on three bureaus. You might be looking at nine 
deletions in one month using the package that we have at 609creditrepair.com. So that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal, man. You were going on for six months, nothing. Now, all of a sudden, you've got some deletions. You yourself added AU, trade line, okay? and also a primary, and by you doing it yourself, this is why I'm an advocate of us doing it ourselves or finding someone like my team that advocates that and teaches it and can do it for you, all right? So in that time, in one month, you went up 110 points. You message the guy, he claims that the repair wasn't you, okay, but him. One, how does he know that so well, huh? How does he know that so well? If you were one of my clients and you told me, and you told me that you added a primary trade line and an authorized user trade line, I'd be like, well, of course. You're gonna have some boost. You're doing really good on your own. You, that's part of our, hey man, if you wanna add some trade lines and you know what, we have availability, we have a trade line individual, a gentleman who can hook you up with trade lines. Okay, that's part of our process if you need it down the line, you know, let's go through the credit repair process first, but if you need some trade lines, we got that for you, okay? So it's not something that I would say, oh, well, you can't be doing this stuff on your own. Now, granted, you do really want only one set of disputes going to the bureaus in a 30-day period, because then you can kind of just, the other ones get thrown out, or you can get marked as frivolous, or they'll just ignore it, or whatever, right? You don't want to get too wild and just keep sending all this stuff. One, 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 one a month is solid, solid. That's what you want to do. Boom, 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 boom. You want to stay on it. You want to stay diligent. However, I don't know if you're going to, quote unquote, ruin everything and everything would be your fault. I would never pose that in that way to you. What I would encourage and recommend to you is either you do it on your own or you have us do it or whomever do it for you. You do it or we do it. That's what I would say in that kind of professional setting. I wouldn't be saying it. you would ruin anything. You're still gonna have 110 points increase. That person should be saying how great you're doing. You're doing fantastic. You've gotten 110 points added to your credit report. You're disputing your own stuff. This is phenomenal. This is a great testimonial for us and our subscribers here on this channel and how, er how well everyone is doing here. Thank you, Scotty, for writing in and letting us know how well you're doing. We're excited for you. And not only are you not ruining anything, forget that nonsense and that negativity, you're moving to the other side. You're doing phenomenal. You're doing fantastic, okay? So I don't want anyone to bring you down. Personally, I think that you are doing fantastic and you should keep on doing what you're doing if you're getting the results, right? So it says you're halted at the moment, not knowing what you should do continue with round two myself or just sit back and wait any suggestions okay so even in the linguistics of that right even when you hear it should i should i uh, continue with round two or should i just sit back and wait sit back and wait for what another six months what, what are you waiting for waiting for this well he says that uh he did this repair well you just told me you were the one in your writing, you were the one that you said, you sent out the letters, you finally got something, you added the AU, you added the primaries, you did this, and then you raised the score 110 points. There's a lot of you doing stuff in here. And he claims that it was him doing the repair, but what did he do? Did you see the letters that go out? Okay, that you would get to see in the portal if you worked with us. Did you talk to him on the phone? Did you get a secure message, portal, email? Phone call, video, did he tell you what happened? Did he, did, was there anything? So you, you didn't even write to me that, it, that, that he did anything or what he disputed. So it's very challenging for me to believe that uh, you are not the one that we're doing a repair, that you would not be able to handle it, that you can handle it, that you have the confidence, the ability, and the skill set, and you have the video library here on YouTube, and you have the packages, and you have the letters, and you've already done it. So I can't really make the decision for you, but the way it sounds to me is that if you wanted to continue on your own, that you would be just fine. Now, I would encourage you to, you know, have one person or one group or one individual like yourself do it on your own. But you've got to make the decision for yourself, okay? Maybe this individual is doing something that I've never heard of, that I don't know about, that, I, that we don't know, that you don't know. But I don't like not knowing. And I don't like my clients not knowing. That is very important to me. I want my clients and customers to know how to do it. I want my clients and customers to know what we are doing. Okay? So, 
For anyone else out there who has had that kind of uh, situation, you know, how did you overcome that situation? Who have you worked with in the past, okay? Why don't you put it down in the comments, let me know. I'm very intrigued to see what your stories are and your results have been from other individuals and things of this nature because the way I see it is a lot of times that you can do it yourself. You can get the packages at 609creditrepair.com. You can have us do it at theawesomelifegroup.com and I wanna make sure that you are getting the best knowledge and the best results. Best bang for your buck, so to speak, okay? So, um, thank you very much, Scotty. And, you know, keep keep sending in the comments, the, the suggestions, the email. I love, I love responding to you guys here. This is fantastic. All right, so, this individual asked about um, adding credit. Wanted to add a lot of credit lines. Um, is having more lines, this is Jose, is having more lines of open credit better than having only a few cards? I'm looking to have a total of 100K of open credit. Would this help or hurt me in the long run? Uh, if I am looking to purchase a condo or home. Okay, in the long run. It's interesting you put that in there. Even in the way you're writing it, you're kind of feeling what will be best for me. Is this gonna be okay long term? Short term, you have a feeling that by applying for cards, your credit score is gonna fluctuate because of the hard inquiries. We all know that. The hard inquiries are gonna mess with you a little bit in the beginning. However, you're right. Long term, I feel it, you're right. You feel it, what I'm gonna say here, in the long term, it's probably gonna help you out as long as your credit utilization is really nice and low, real, real low. I know, under 10%, at least under 10%, but it should be easy to keep under 10% if you have all that available credit. They, these banks and credit card companies and loan companies, they like seeing, wow, this individual's got a lot of credit, they're very credit worthy, but they're not really using, utilizing it, that's great. They know how to manage their credit. And you have to understand that credit utilization doesn't necessarily mean you're not using it, it just means you're not carrying around a lot of debt, which is a huge issue, okay? You can utilize it, but if you're paying it off every week, every two weeks, every month, you're not gonna show crazy amounts of utilization, all right? Not all that's gonna report, it'll just have a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit here and there which is fantastic, it makes it look as if, and you do know how to manage your credit properly. So when you're going for that condo, when you're going for that house, when you wanna purchase something, and your mortgage broker, or your loan broker, or whomever is giving you the loan, your cus cousin, your cousin Vinny, all right? Whoever, down at the bank, I told you, I'm, I'm not gonna get fired up, I'm telling you, I'm not gonna get fired up tonight, I gotta, gotta stay calm, gotta get, to, gotta get some sleep tonight. Uh, whoever's giving you that is gonna say, man, you got a lot of available credit, you know, you, you got, Seems like you know how to manage your stuff. Now you may not want a bunch of hard inquiries all at the end, right? You don't want three, four, five hard inquiries the couple months before you're gonna go purchase a condo or a home, okay? The idea would be to have a nice, clean, you know, year there where you not have a lot of hard inquiries, you don't have inquiries. Now, you might just have to explain what they are. I've done that in the past when I was getting travel credit cards and I would apply for another credit card and they would be like, well, what's up? Why are you trying to get another card? And I would be honest with them. It's, a, it's important to be honest and transparent a lot of the times, I think. You know, I would say, look, I've, get, I've gotten this card. I've got, I like the bonus. I'm looking to expand my business or I uh, travel a lot or I have an Amex and really want a MasterCard and a Visa and it's not accepted everywhere or blah, 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 whatever reason. And they will work with you, they understand, okay? And a lot of times when I called, and what I'm talking about is underwriters or the reconsideration line or the loan broker that you'll be working with, a lot of times you don't have to say a lot, you just have to present who you are, uh, your financials, they're gonna look into your debt to income ratio more than anything else when you purchase that home. They're really gonna look at that credit score, so if your credit score is strong, your debt to income ratio is good, you've got the employment history, you've got the income coming in, they're gonna feel pretty warm and fuzzy. You got a few hard inquiries, not a big deal. You might just have to explain them, write down, oh, you know, I got this one because I was, I wanted to travel, I got this one because this is a Visa, not a MasterCard, I got this one because the Amex rewards were really good on this one, I got this one because this is this does better for uh, my business or this gives me better cash back on gas stations I use all the time or this one was better because X, Y, Z reason, okay? But I don't have any, you know, I'm not, don't have any debt, I just, this is really how I wanted to manage credit or I was trying to rebuild my credit score. It had been a long time since I had credit and it just so happened it kind of ran around the same time that I was looking to purchase a condo or a house or a home. So this is what's going on. Oh, okay, cool. They just, they just want to make sure that you're not like, well, I need this because I'm desperate and you know, I'm having uh, 
I'm going on um, vacationing with all this and uh, you know I'm thinking about going to, to Vegas or maybe uh, just spend all this on a, on a wild investment you know that's what they really they just want to make sure right so yes I think long term having hundred thousand dollars in available credit like you were saying might be very very good just manage it well keep the credit utilization down as much as you can which I'm sure you probably will and yeah I'm excited for you if you're gonna purchase a house or a condo I look forward to it maybe let us know what you buy and put it down in the comments what are you buying where are you buying who's was a good deal who's your mortgage broker who's giving you a good deal all right and let's see do I have one more I hope I do let's see here let's see here what do I got what do I got Ah, Jonathan. Okay, so this is a good one. Hey, Brennan, thanks for getting back to me. Are the dispute letters pretty much straightforward, user-friendly, and are they pre-written, meaning is it just me entering my information? Sorry for the questions. I just really don't want to spend more than needed. Thank you again, Jonathan. All right, so yes, they're very straightforward. They're templates. You can adjust them to your needs, customize them for how you want. The eBooks walk you through the process. The videos walk you through the process. It is very user-friendly. Where can you get them? 609creditrepair.com or you, of course you know where to go if you want us to do it for you, theawesomelifegroup.com. I appreciate all the questions, comments, subscribes, suggestions, likes, like this video, and you know where I'll see you guys. I'll see you on the other side. Take care.